Hi everyone, I'm James from Capable and today I'm going to show you how to add a mermaid diagram into Confluence. Simply go onto a Confluence page, hit slash diagrams and up comes the Capable Diagram macro. And hit slash, type in diagram and if you've installed Capable either the all-in-one toolkit or diagrams of Confluence, this will pop up. Click on that there. And you can see here that you have the diagram dashboard. Should you have 10, 20 diagrams, they'll appear here. You also have a space for ones that you've just created and you can save templates to global or, or the space. I'm going to show you how to add a mermaid diagram. Two ways of doing this. First, you can click on the mermaid tab in the examples section here, and this will give you a load of different types of mermaid diagrams that are already pre-curated so that will give you a good um, foundation to begin creating a, a mermaid diagram on everything from user journeys to flow charts to pie charts to Sankey diagrams and they're really easy to edit from inside the diagram editor you can simply change the text as you type it so yeah for the sake of this demonstration I'm going to actually copy and paste in a mermaid diagram text code that I've created and I'm going to paste it in there. This is for AWS architecture and I can save that and it will enter it onto the page. And what's really great about this is if I update that and I can zoom in, I can also edit the box as well. This means that you can really quickly change things like add a border, do that, it will add a border like such. I can change different formatting, the width, and this enables you to present your diagrams in the most effective way to different audiences, whoever's viewing that page. There you have it, how to add a mermaid diagram onto a conference page using the capable diagrams conference tool. Thanks for watching. I'll be showing uh, in some future videos how to add other diagram codes such as plant UML, C4, and myriad of other different codes as well. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, do give us a subscribe and stay tuned for some more tutorials on how to add different types of diagrams.